Hello everyone, before we begin the POV, I would like to say a huge thank you to Ahmed, owner of Badr Medical Group, Saudi Arabia, for giving me the opportunity to capture his stunning new Bentley Flying Spur. Welcome to Rev Limit POV, I'm Devu. Today we are taking an exclusive look at the all new 2024 Bentley Flying Spur, a car that takes luxury and performance to a whole new level. Let's first check out Under the Hood. This model comes with a V8 engine, brings a perfect balance of power, efficiency and driving pleasure. This 4 litre twin turbocharged V8 delivers an impressive 550 horsepower and 770 nm of torque via 8 speed DCT gearbox, giving the flying spur the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 4 seconds. Coming to the wheels, these are the 275-35R22s, you have all independent air suspension. In terms of overall length, this is a big luxury sedan at just over 5.3 meters long. You can see the rear tail lights are full LEDs, they have almost crystal like effect, almost like the headlights. The boot size is 420 liters. Now let's check out the rear seats. Sadly there's no automatic closing rear doors. It does have a soft close feature which is nice. There is a ton of space back here. The center armrest have two cup holders, a little bit more storage with two USB charging ports and a 12 volt outlet. Over here you have own retractable shade. You also have their convex mirrors along with LED lightings. This model offers around 43 inches of legroom, which is great for those who want to be driven around. You get 14 way adjustable rear seats with memory function. The area here in the center console, you can see you have metal accent for the vents. You get same organ pulls. Also, you get multifunction 5 inch color touchscreen remote, allows the rear occupants to control C function, climate control, and window blinds. Now let's check out the co-passenger seat. These front seats are 24-way adjustable with heating, ventilation and massage functions. The door panels have beautiful leather stitching. Let's get in. Let's have a look at the glove box. You get a decent size. I'm going to switch over to the driver's seat. Let's start the engine. This is built of the MSB architecture that also underlines the Porsche Panamera. Looking at the interior, this is a pretty similar to the last generation Flying Spur. The glass run roof, as you can see, is a panoramic style. There is a little compartment with two cup holders. The center moves forward and back but doesn't open. Also, you get Alcantara on headliner plus leather stitching for the actual sun visor. You can see there's a 12.3 inch fully digital instrument cluster. The steering wheel is a full leather with unique Bentley badging. Chrome accents, also you get power to telescopic function along with metal accented paddle shifters. The infotainment system you get is a 12.3 inch display. I love the leather stitching that go across the dash. The build quality is just impeccable. Overall the cabin is definitely still one of the nicest interiors you'll find. In terms of build quality and feel, this will be among the best you'll see and it's going to feel nicer in terms of luxury versus a regular S-Class, 7 Series or A8. Let's go for a POV drive. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Jamshid for taking the time and effort to record the POV for me today. It's his first time using a GoPro and I know it's a bit tricky for someone new to get used to it. I really appreciate you for trying it out. Hope he captures an amazing POV drive.
Alright guys, that wraps up today's drive. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next drive. Got any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comment below. I'd love to hear from you.